I had very, very progressive parents. We went to the movies all the time. I realized as a child, I always admired Ida Lupina, and I was always struck by the fact that she was this beautiful actress, and yet she was a director. And there weren't many, you know, role models for that. By virtue of the fact that, you know, the generation that I came from, what are you going to be if you're going to be in this business? And, if, and if furthermore, as an African-American woman, well, I was black then, no, before that I was something else. But <laughs> how could you even envision being in film, let alone directing it? How's your love life? <laughs> Cancel my lunch. I'm going to be here for a while. That journey as an actress seemed to be the norm. The idea of directing just never occurred to me. I was asked to adapt a play and I was also asked to direct it and I realized how much I loved directing. I was encouraged to become involved with the American Film Institute's directing workshop for women. There were more women doing film in 98 than there are now. I think the industry has problems with women as directors, the film industry, not the stage. I think the film industry does in the sense that, you know, there's a lot of money involved in the commercial uh, the, the side of it. There's a lot of money, and I don't know why they don't trust women with money. Women have proven themselves time and time again. I mean, look at Catherine DeGlow, look at Felidia Lloyd. It deals with, very generally, the dirty war in Argentina. From the first rehearsals uh, with the actors, I, I even expressed it then. I said, you know, I see nothing but film. I see nothing but film with this. And I could even hear the music. The writer, Miguel Asturias, wrote, There is a belief that trees breathe the breath of those who inhabit graveyards. And so it is that every Sabbath, I make my pilgrimage to this place to breathe the breath of my dead husband. This I do in remembrance of him. The progress in the technology is extraordinary. And you're seeing more women just saying, look, let me take what money I have and let me make the thing I'm passionate about. I do think it's leveling the field. Now, if it starts to make money, then it'll really level because that seems to be the litmus test. Mm -hmm.